Hi everyone, this is Mehmoo Sheikh and from past few videos I have been working on developing a lectures management system using PHP Code Igniter, Ajax and jQuery. In my last video I completed the functionality of uploading personal details of a user. And in this video I will discuss about updating that personal details. Okay. So before starting this video I would just want to tell you guys if you guys like this video click on like button share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel so that you will get continuous updates of my upcoming videos. Okay. So now let us discuss about developing the functionality of updating the personal details of any user. Okay. So now whenever we talk in terms of updating the user's record so what we used to do is we used to first load that data on a separate form where we can update that information. But here in this case, I have not designed this system in that way. Okay. So in my last video as well, I had shown you that the moment when I will be submitting or uploading this user's personal details, I will be fetching this information from the MySQL table and displaying these details inside these text boxes, drop downs and on this card okay so since i have designed system in such a way so i don't have to load this information in any separate form if i want to update this information i just need to make changes inside this form as well because the moment when i have submitted this information i have manages to get this information inside these text boxes okay so if i want to change then i just need to change here only okay if i want to change it to unmarried then i can i will make it as unmarried and if i want to change image then i will select any other image okay and now i will click on update the moment when i click on update you will get the message and the image and the details which i had changed gets automatically updated and the changes will get start reflecting on the page within a fraction of seconds okay so all these things i'm doing with the help of code igniter ajax and jquery okay so this is what we'll be going to learn in this video okay so for developing this functionality first we need to go to our profile page okay so this is our ad profile view okay so in this add profile php file we had created a form in our last video in that video i have explained how to create this form okay so i would just recommend you guys to watch that video first and then come back to this video okay so now in this video i will directly move on to the bottom of this form where I have created the buttons for this form okay so I have submit an update button to the update button I have given an ID as btn update and the same ID I am referring in my jQuery code to generate an on click event okay so here I have started my jQuery code with the document.ready function and then I have started this by registering an on click event by passing it an id which i have assigned to my update button which is btn update okay then i have created an object of my form by passing it an id of the form okay so this is the id which i have given to my form okay which you can see here see to this form i have given an id as personal form and the same id i am using in my jquery code okay and then here i am collecting the details of that form okay father name mother name user department user designation gender mobile date of birth marital status and user file which is image of that user and i have stored these details inside these variables okay then i am using an if condition to check whether the user is trying to submit the form by leaving any of the text box blank okay if that is the case I will be displaying an error message to the user saying that please fill all the details okay if user has entered each and every details in 
the text boxes then I will be making an Ajax post request to this URL okay which is edit user personal info which I have created inside my user controller okay and in this Ajax call I am collecting the form data which I have created here okay and then control will come to user.php where I have created this edit user personal info okay and here as well I'm getting the details of that form and I'm storing these details inside these variables okay and here for date of birth I'm changing the format to the format which I want okay I'm changing the date format to year month and day okay and then I'm storing that format inside this DOB variable and also I'm getting the user ID of the logged in user from the session and I'm storing that user ID inside the, this user ID variable okay and apart from storing this information I have also created an config array inside which I'm storing the details of my image okay what is the name of the folder inside which I'm going to store the image okay which is uploads folder okay and what are the types of images which I which I'm allowing the user to upload which are GIF JPG PNG okay and what is the size width and height of that image okay and then I'm storing the name of that image inside this image okay and I already told you in my last video that I'm not going to store the images with their names okay I will be replacing the name of each and every profile image which I'm going to upload with the user ID of that user Who's trying to upload that image okay as you can see here this is my uploads folder inside this uploads folder I have two user profiles and the names of these images are based on the user ID of those users okay next okay so for doing that what I have done is I have exploded the image into two segments okay I have divided I have I have used explode function which splits the image name in the form of an array okay and then I have replaced the name of the image with the user ID of that logged in user okay and then I have assigned that updated image name and I have passed that inside the config array okay and then later on I have created another array with the name personal data inside which I have stored all the details of user starting from user ID to user file okay and here I have created an if condition so now in this video what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to update the user details okay so now there will be two cases okay so there will be an image already be present inside this uploads folder uh, so suppose I'm trying to update the user details of this user Michael Brown and I want to update this image okay? so in that case I need to delete this image which I had uploaded earlier so for that what I need to do is here I'm checking is there any record of personal details already present inside the mysql table for checking that i am running this function which is check personal info which i had created inside my user model okay so this function helps me to check is there any personal details record already present inside mysql table that means that user has already uploaded their personal details okay so if that is the case then there will be user image also be present inside this folder which I need to delete this time because I want to update image as well okay so for that I have written an if condition here uh, which tells me is there any record present inside the mysql table for that user okay then what I will do is I will make a call to the upload library to that I will be passing the config array and then I will unlink that image 
okay which user had uploaded earlierly because i now i want to replace it with the new one so for that first i need to delete the old image okay then i am checking if the image gets uploaded successfully then i will call the edit personal data function which i have created inside user model okay as you can see here this is my edit personal data okay so to this function i am passing this personal data array which contains each and every piece of information of that personal details and i am also passing the user id okay which indicates whose personal details i want to update okay now control will come here and here i will update the personal details of that user okay so now if the details successfully gets updated then it will return a value you to user.php file with that value this function jquery function will come to know whether the record gets successfully updated or not okay so if the record gets successfully updated then i will be displaying a message as data updated successfully to the user and within a fraction of seconds i will be reloading the page to get the updated information from the database okay so this is what we have done for updating the user profile okay so now let me just show you a demo once again okay now in my uploads folder you will see a user image with the user id 2 is been uploaded okay and now i'm going to change this image i will change the details of marital status and i will select another image and when i click on update you will see image gets updated successfully and the data gets changed okay and in the uploads folder image also gets replaced okay the image which i had uploaded earlier that image gets deleted and that image will get replaced with the new image okay so this is how we can develop the functionality of updating the record and getting that details from the database okay so that's all for this video guys so i hope you guys have understood whatever we have discussed in this video i will come back in my next video where i will be discussing about uploading the qualification details of that user and, uh, and that we will do in our next video and thanks for watching